What's going on everyone? Welcome back, dude. You guys already know what I've been talking about with the iPhone SE 2, all right? I made so many videos, so many renders, literally, like I spent so much time thinking about the iPhone SE 2 that it's really affecting my personal life. I don't know what's going on, but I've been covering the iPhone SE 2 so extensively, okay? And Apple recently did their one thing that had a lot of people talking, like, oh, is Apple going to release the iPhone SE 2 this week? Whatever, because they were releasing tons of products and they started off Monday by releasing the iPads, then the iMacs on Tuesday, and then the AirPods on Wednesday. And they really didn't do anything yesterday and today, which is Thursday and Friday if you're watching this later. But I will tell you, people were surprised and saddened when the iPhone SE 2 didn't come out this week. But I've been telling you guys so long, the iPhone SE 2 is not coming out at this March event on Monday. It's definitely not coming out there. And it's not coming out this week when they're releasing all these products. It's most likely being released at WWDC if it ever comes. Now, I'm going to tell you, you know, I kind of said some things before. These are all just rumors. These are all just speculations, okay? There's no way to verify any of this. I'm only going to tell you what I think okay and this is what i personally think i do think the fnsc2 is going to come this wwdc okay now this new release of the new ipads really changed up my way that i'm looking at the iphone se2 okay so the big news before that was apple started releasing all those new iphone se's or the clearance ones on their on their clearance section they were selling them 250 i think which is a pretty decent price for an iphone se still a pretty decent phone and what apple recently did with the ipads was that they released an internal refresh of them but they kept the same exterior body for the most part the 10.5 inch ipad changed a little bit most kind of a downgrade but it's the new ipad air so that kind of makes sense whatever but the touch id sensor in the home button is the most important aspect of that because before i thought apple was going to go the bezel -less route even for their newer ipad minis and the ipad airs but apple still is producing the home button so that makes me think that apple still sees a future of the home buttons on their specific devices and not just their older ones so with that being said I don't think Apple is going to release the iPhone SE 2 looking like an iPhone XS or an iPhone XR. I think it's still going to have the home button, which I'm perfectly fine with. I have no problem with that whatsoever. It would be cool if they were to release it like that, but, but for now, I think these renders and things that I've done, I think they look really cool. And I hope it does end up looking like that, but most probably it'll look like the iPhone SE, the original one, but it will have some updated features and it'll be an internal refresh. And it makes no sense for Apple not to do it. If you guys remember like a month ago or a month and a half, I was like, Apple's going to release a ton of products this year because they have to recoup what they did last year. You know, they messed up a little bit, but this year they're going to release any new products that they can. And it kind of came true now. Apple released tons of products this week and tons of software products as well. And who knows what they're going to do from now until WWDC. Maybe they'll do another event. Who knows? And I even said before that the new iPads that they're going to make in March or whatever, that determines what the iPhone SE 2 is going to look like because they're not going to share the same parts, but the design layout is going to look the same. I thought Apple wanted to remove the home button, go face ID and go bezel-less, but that's not the truth. So I see Apple doing an internal refresh with the iPhone SE 2, but I do think they're going to add wireless charging with it. So that's going to be really, really cool. A lot of people said Apple will probably either put the Apple A10 chip or an Apple A11 chip, but I personally do think that Apple could possibly put an Apple A12 chip inside of it. That's kind of hard to tell at this point but i think it's going to have the a12 chip i think it's also going to have three gigs of ram and possibly a quad core cpu but regardless it's going to be a fast phone if it's in any way of an upgrade internally from the original iphone se i'll be extremely happy like i said it's going to have wireless charging as well but i mean to kind of wrap this whole thing up it's either coming or it's not coming okay i personally do think i'm an iphone se2 truther <laughs> I personally do think it's not a conspiracy. I think the SE2 could come. I would like it to come. I think they're going to do a lot of different things this year. Like I've stated, they released so many new products even just this year that I don't see why they wouldn't do a refresh of the iPhone SE, a huge phone that they're still seeing a lot of support from because people are selling out the clearance sections all the time of the iPhone SEs. So why would they not just go do it and support it there? So in my opinion, I think Apple's going to release the iPhone SE2 this year at WWDC. Again, it's not going to probably look like the iPhone 10 layout. Maybe they'll make a different version that has that than a standard version that doesn't have it i don't know but for now i think it's going to look like the original iphone se which in my opinion is not a bad thing at all i like the original iphone se layout but that is pretty much it if you guys have any questions or you have anything else to add leave it down in the comment section below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say hit that like button that don't mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it don't mean so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i would really appreciate if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.